Hey there guys, well today I picked up the new Yu-Gi-Oh! Mega Tints from my locals and I got two of the Yugi and Yami one and I also got two of the Kaiba Tins uh, which I will be opening in a different video uh, but yeah, for this video I'll be cracking into two of the Mega Tins featuring Yugi and of course Yami or the Pharaoh or Atem or however you guys want to uh, mention his name because he has a lot of names. So, I mean, it's like the nameless pharaoh, yada yada, but, well, let's not ramble on too long because I really want to crack into these Megatons and I'm really excited. And also the designs for these Megatons are really, really cool looking. Uh, the color uh, and, you know, just the artwork in general is really nice. So, let's get everything out. Oh, so it's an all one big package. That's really cool. I didn't know that. So they Konami changed some things this year. Really nice. Alright, I'm just gonna cut open this. And I know some of you guys out there, you're not a big fan of me like cutting the packs and all that stuff. Uh, I know, but hey, it's what I do and I find it a lot easier for me. Uh, a lot smoother, you know, this, I won't have like a bunch of trash lying around. But yeah, for the sake of time, I'm just going to open one of the promo packs because they're basically duplicates and everything. But yeah, here we have Dark Magician. So this was actually a common in one of the uh, starter decks or structure decks or however you guys want to uh, say. But yeah, that artwork looks amazing. Uh, I'm really glad that they turned this into foil. Alright, next we have Proxy Dragon. Uh, let's see, Link 2. And it's actually a very nice Link monster where it has the arrows pointing side to side. So you can create that mutual Link. And of course, Pot of Desires, everyone is like really excited about this. Uh, when it first got revealed, everyone was like, yes, Pot of Desires is actually getting a reprint. Not just in the packs, but you know as a promo and then we also get number 71 uh rebarian shark and dreamland so i believe that's both from the xc's dimension and of course we get a yugi and yami token as well basically from the uh tin covers really nice though so let's crack into the six mega packs of 2017 so I won't go over all the card names, maybe the rares and stuff, but, oh wait, what, did we skip a rare? Oh, okay, um, so we got the Phantom Knights Rank of Magic launch, apparently, I don't know, the supers first, uh, Seeker Rare Zodiac Broad Bowl, really nice, I'm gonna put the foils onto the side, Ultra Rare Zodiac Thorough Blade, and I believe the rare is in the back, yep, Envoy of Chaos. Huh, that's kind of weird. Usually the it's a um, the rare, the super, uh, the secret, and then the ultra or something like that. Okay, that's kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, then here's the other commons from the pack. Okay, so starting off, not bad. We got Broad Bowl. Really nice reprint. Even though they might get hit in the next ban list. Who knows? Alright, so what is our super coming up? We got Paleozoic Opabinia and Zodiac Barrage. Man, wow, really nice. Can't remember how high this car was actually. I think it was way above 120 when it first came out. It was so hyped. It was such an expensive card. Another Throw Blade? Okay. And Super Heavy uh, Samurai Ninja Saratopi. A lot of words right there. Didn't we get this one, the other pack? That's kind of weird. Alright. Alright. Organize some stuff here. So we got like, I guess you can say about one third of the uh, Zodiac cards already. So this is from the first Megaton. We're on our third pack here. Blessing. Ooh, True King uh, Lithos 
Sajum, Little Sajum, there we go, uh, the disaster. So I'm gonna set this card to the side because my friend actually needs one. And Sea Monster Athesias, Seeker Air. And oh, Ultra Chuking, uh, oh my gosh, uh, Agnum Mazad, the Vanisher. Yeah, I am not good with names. So that's another cool True King. That's secret there. And we got a Shino Baroness Peacock for a rare. So that's pretty cool. And I wonder if Fairy Tail Snow is also a uh, re or uh, a short print in the Mega Tins. I haven't seen one yet. So fourth pack in our second tin. Oh, we got Gofu. Gofu is definitely a hit. Really nice. Zodiac Whiptail, really nice. Ooh, Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherry Secret Rare. Oh yeah, that's something you want to pull from the Megatons. And Dragon Spirit of White. I am a Blue Eyes fan, so I will definitely take that. Switcheroo for a rare. All right, so that's a very nice pack right there. Awesome, awesome. All right. We're nearing the end. We are on our fifth pack. Let's see what we get. Magician of Dark Illusion for a super. And then secret is Full Force Virus. This card is actually really underrated. Uh, but it's really, really powerful. Uh, secret and another Zodiac Thoroughblade. I have three of those now. Oh, this is a... Let's see. Okay, it's a Super Anti-Kaiju War Machine Mecha Dogoran. It's a very long name. Alright, last pack, what can we pull? Uh, I don't really know what I really want to pull. Anything else than the cards I already did? Um, not sure. Probably Magician's Navigation. I think that's the only card that I'm really looking for. Alright, so we got Zodiac Raptor. Oh, <laughs> pulled it. <laughs> Magician Navigation, right there. <laughs> Right when I was like, I need to get that card, I pulled it. And let's see, Dark Contract with the Entities, Ultra. And Illusion Magic too to go along with that. Really nice. Uh, wow. Called it. Alright, so... Let's gonna take a look at all the goodies that we have here. A lot of foils, two tins. So I'm just gonna do a recap. Go through. And... If you're new to the game or getting back into the game, this is definitely you want to uh, some like kind of like the products you want to look into. Um, yeah, maybe a structured deck. Uh, I would go with probably the dinosaur one. But if you want to like start collecting again, but not really get back into the game, or if you want to like get collector's card, maybe this is the um, product you want to go for. Um, pretty cool. I really like it, you know, it's very amazing how they do the reprints and I don't think the set ratios for certain cards in here, like for the holographics, are like short printed, so it's really nice. But hey guys, uh, that was an amazing opening, can't wait to crack open the Kaiba tins. But if you guys enjoyed up this video, uh, definitely leave a like, share and subscribe, and I'll get you guys the new uh, Mega Tins uh, featuring Kaiba in the next couple of videos, because actually, I like the promos in Kaiba Tin more, actually. It's more better. That's my opinion, but you guys can disagree with me. Hey guys, this is Aero Dragon, and I am signing out.